What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another vlog and today I'm gonna walk the full length of West 4th Street which is stretches from Broadway all the way to 13th Street so I'm gonna check out the street and see how the architecture changed so I'm gonna take you guys with me so join me so now the thing is 4th Street is a street by the lower Manhattan area close to Granite Village and it passes by Washington Square Park but then once you go by the Broadway area and you go all the way to the west side of Manhattan it turns into West 4th Street and there's like a main connection with the train stations over there so a lot of people they don't bench up much like the streets around so I'm gonna do it and show you how the street starts changing and all the beautiful brownstone buildings so you're gonna see it so this is actually Broadway and now that side is East 4th Street and then but over here to my right it turns into West 4th Street so this is pretty much like the beginning of it so I'm gonna walk over here I'm gonna pass New York University and I'm gonna pass Washington Square Park I'm gonna keep walking deep further into the street ends once I cross to the other side of 6th Avenue, you're gonna see how the architecture changes. So far, it's not bad over here. Beautiful structure of building, and then where you see like those modern tall buildings, it's actually part of New York University. You know, like a lot of college students, they hang out around here. And it's actually one of my favorite spots here in New York City. I usually hang out here pretty often. It's just like a lot of people walking around. It's, it's like a transition of college, but I'm walking right by one of my favorite parks. So this here is just a regular West 4th Street by the university and all that. And then if you make a turn here, it turns into Washington Square Park. But they got like that art that kind of resembles like the one in Paris, France. And then one interesting thing is you get streets like this where you get a view of the World Trade Center. Over there you can see the famous art. Since the weather is a little bit warm, there's more people than what I usually see during the winter or the fall season. And then here you got a beautiful architecture of church. Then another cool thing about Washington Square Park, I mean after the pandemic hit, I haven't really seen him, but there used to be a guy who would sell like street food over here around this corner. He would sell like some dose, I used to call him like the Dosa King of New York City. And I tried one time, it's mostly, well not mostly, like 100% vegetarian, it was really good. So I'm gonna have to check out his social media to see where, where he's at, because he used to be around here. But you hear the dogs barking, there's a dog park over here, but yeah. I gotta say this is like a little small street, but it's pretty lovely. And then when I cross the other side of Sixth Avenue, you're gonna see how interesting the street changes. Talking about the Dosa guy, that's his car right there, but I'm, I'm gonna assume that you already finished serving. But yeah, if you guys are around and you come early, I recommend that you check him out. He's really famous and his food is pretty good. Pretty cheap price and a healthy option, so it's really good. Then over this side, you can start seeing how the architecture changes. Like a lot of old buildings over here. I really love like the reddish color to the buildings. And there's like a diner over there in the corner. I never had it, but maybe one day by curiosity I'm gonna try. And then ahead of me is like Sixth Avenue, and then the street is gonna make like a little turn. And a lot of people they probably get a little confused by it, but then when you make a turn, it's when it's gonna be pretty interesting because it's gonna turn into a quiet residential street. So I just passed Sixth Avenue, and this is where I say that the street is gonna merge and makes like a little turn and then it turns more like into a residential or to a restaurant spot you can start seeing it here all the outdoor dining see how the street changes pretty quick like pretty small it's a beautiful architecture but there's a lot, a lot of good restaurants and shops around here it's not too busy now because it's kind of a little early and i guess also because it's a little cold outside but yeah, you can start seeing this is kind of like the borderline of the west village and <laughs> neighborhood you know the vibes are pretty good as Mostly like a liberal neighborhood. But I love it so far. There's a cafe right there across the street. It's like more over here. More restaurants. And I like the way how they decorate the outdoor dining over here. It makes it pretty interesting. And then this neighborhood is also pretty famous for the LGBT community. Especially in the summer times, you're gonna see it like really packed, you know, like really good vibe happening around here. You can find a little bit of everything.
you know, there's corners. A little confusing, you gotta really look at the map because it's pretty different from other streets that you're used to in your city. Because a lot of streets they merge in one, like Christopher Street, the West 4th Street. But this is like a really important alley over here for the community, and they got like Sheridan Square over here. And not too far from here is where they did the protests like years ago, you know, that opened up for the LGBT, you know, important. This is like an important plaza. Here you see like pictures for the LGBT community. And face it, what happened over here, it opened up, you know, for this type of people, you know, for this community over here. And I, every year in a lot of cities all over the world, you know, they do their pride. So you see over here the flag. In the summertime, it's a really cool vibe. But I really like, it's like the architecture here in the neighborhood, like the buildings, apartments. It, they're really expensive though, but the way how they preserve it is pretty good. It gives you feel like if you're like in a little small town, like a European city, and then even across the street you can see like the architecture, so it's pretty interesting. A lot of people they come here and they take pictures, you know. So that's how you know it means a lot. This structure over here. Like I said, the street here can be really confusing. Especially like it's, it's so different from the midtown area because when you walk around, it's usually like 30 Street, 31. It's in order, you know. They're parallel to the avenues and you know where you're gonna go but over here it's like you gotta use the map to know exactly where street you're gonna go so like i said i'm gonna keep going to west 4th street this is another avenue but i gotta go to that little tiny street that's west 4 keeps going straight all the way to 13th street and then over this is where i say the architecture starts getting pretty nice and the street gets a little bit tight but pretty worth it that you check it out it's perfect for you to take pictures if you want and you can see how tiny the uh, streets are but still really beautiful even the basement it's pretty good it has its own vibe in it so you can really if you're a fan of old architecture you can really have a blast over here it kind of resembles a little bit of Brooklyn Heights and then look at this, look at all those buildings over there, so beautiful. Also the Upper West Side looks like this a little bit, so a lot of neighborhoods in New York, you know, they resemble. I gotta say it's a really, really interesting tiny street, the way you could just walk around and see like restaurants and architecture like this you still got the trees i know it's gonna be gone but i know in the summertime it's even better because like if you're walking with a beautiful buildings like this and under a tunnel of trees you know like i say this is manhattan like a lot of people when they think about manhattan they think it's about like midtown all the tall skyscrapers but i gotta be i gotta say that manhattan is pretty diverse and also you know i want to show you that's a lot of things to do in this ball Besides Times Square, the World Trade Center, the touristy things, you know, you could just wander around neighborhoods like this and still have a blast. And now I know a lot of people, when they're not from here, when they watch, when they think about New York, it's kind of like those movies that they watch that they pretty much shows neighborhoods like this with the brownstones and the trees and everything. So, and then you got like the, the nice shops and restaurants in the first floor of apartment complex like this. It gives you like a fine complex, you know. I could spend the entire day walking around here exploring, shooting pictures, you know. I'm always curious about the real estate around here. With the beautiful details and look at this one. Pretty nice old architecture. Give you a 360 view of the intersections around this neighborhood, around the West Village. And it's like every street that you show, you can shoot a picture. But then, like I said, this is still West 4, point over there, West 4th Street. Which I heard a lot about it, about the train stations and the uh, connections, but I never been to around the street until I did it a few times and I thought it would be worth it for me to make a video about the street. And then, and then one more block down, I end up in 13th Street and this is the end of West 4th Street. Like I say, you end up with a nice scenery over here. They even got like a bistro across the street. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the street ends over here. It's gonna be pretty interesting. So it ends up in a corner like this by 8th Avenue and 13th Street. 
and all these avenues that go all the way to Midtown but it's just interesting to see how it looks like over this side and with the architecture and stuff like like I said you can easily get lost you just gotta look at the map because the way how the streets are designed over here is a little different than the ones in Midtown but it's really beautiful to look at it you know like I said now the sunset falls down a little bit earlier so you know a really nice scenery over here by this amazing little street but that was the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more be safe out there everybody god bless y'all and peace